We are given sets A, B, C, and D, and that the universal set is the set of integers from 1 to 10, and we're asked to find the given sets. We worked through this problem earlier and just analyzed the sets to determine the sets below. Another approach that might be helpful is to create a Venn diagram that shows the relationship among the sets, and then from there, use the Venn diagram to determine the sets. So let's go ahead and discuss how we set up the given Venn diagram. To begin with, analyzing sets A, B, C, and D, notice none of the elements in set D are in sets A, B, or C. So for the Venn diagram, we begin with a rectangle for the universal set, and then we have three overlapping sets, which are the sets A, B, and C, and then set D on the right. So notice set D contains the elements 7, 8, 9, which again are not in any of the sets A, B, and C. And now to set up the Venn diagram for the overlapping sets A, B, and C, we begin by determining the intersection of sets A, B, and C, which should be the elements that are in all three sets. Notice in this case, the only element in all three sets, meaning the sets A, B, and C, is the element 2. So in the Venn diagram, notice how the two goes in the intersection of all three sets. And now let's consider the intersection of sets A and B. The elements that are in both set A and set B are the elements two, four, and six. Notice how we already have the two as part of the intersection of set A and B. And therefore we only list the four and the six in this region here, the four and the six are in A and B, and so is the two, but the two is also in C. And now let's consider the intersection of A and C. The elements that are in set A and set C are the elements one, two, and three. So if we look at the intersection of sets A and C, again, the two is already in the intersection. We list the one and the three in this region here. The one and the three are in the intersection of A and C, but they're not included in the intersection of all three sets. And now looking at what we have so far, notice set B contains the elements two, four, and six. Set B is complete. Set C contains the elements one, two, and three. Set C is complete. But if we look at set A, in the intersections we have the elements one, two, three, four, and six. We still haven't listed the element of five. The element of five belongs in set A, but it's not in set C or set B, it's only in set A. And then finally, because the universal set is the integers from one through 10, we've only used the elements from one through nine, and therefore we have the element of 10 in the universal set, but not in sets A through D. So now that we have a completed Venn diagram, it should be pretty straightforward to determine the sets for numbers one through nine. Number one, we have A union B, A union B, is the set containing the elements that are in set A or set B or both. Looking at the Venn diagram, here is A union B. And now we can simply see the elements in A union B. A union B is the set containing the elements one, two, three, four, five, six. Number two, we have A intersect B. A intersect B is the set containing the elements that are in set A and set B. So going back to the Venn diagram, A intersect B is this region here, or this set here. These are the elements that are in set A and set B. A intersect B is a set containing the elements two, four, six. Number three, we have B intersect C. B intersect C is the set containing the elements that are in set B and set C. On the Venn diagram, B intersect C is this set here. The only element in this set is the element of two. Number four, we have A intersect D. A intersect D is a set containing the elements that are in set A and set D. 
we can easily see from the Venn diagram there are no elements that are in set A and set D, and therefore A intersect D is the empty set, which we can represent using curly brackets with nothing between them, or we can use a symbol for empty set. For number five, we have the complement of B union C. This is a set containing the elements that are not in B union C. So let's go to the Venn diagram and highlight B union C, which would be this set here. So this is B union C. If we want the complement of B union C, we want all the elements that are not in this union, meaning that would be in this set here. Again, the shaded region is the complement of B union C. Notice this set contains the elements five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number six, we have A minus B. A minus B is a set containing the elements that are in set A, but not in set B. So the elements in set A, but not in set B would be this set here. And this is a set that contains the elements that are in set A, but not in set B. This set contains the elements one, three, and five. Now let's consider number seven. For number seven, we have the union of D intersect C complement and the complement of A intersect B. So let's go to the Venn diagram and see if we can determine the set D intersect C complement and then the set the complement of A intersect B, then determine the union. So first, D intersect C complement is the set containing the elements in D and the elements not in C. Well, all the elements in set D are not in C, and therefore D intersect C complement is just set D. And now let's determine the complement of A intersect B. Let's highlight A intersect B, which is this region here. The complement of A intersect B is going to be the set outside this region or this set here. So now that we have D intersect C complement in green and the complement of A intersect B in blue, we want the union of these two sets, or the set that contains the elements that are in either the blue set or the green set. And notice how that's going to be all the elements in the universal set except the elements of two, four, and six, which is the set containing one, three, five, seven, eight, nine, and 10. This is the set containing the elements that are in the union of D intersect C complement and the complement of A intersect B. Number eight, we have the empty set union C. This is a set containing the elements that are in the empty set or set C or in both, but the empty set doesn't contain any elements and therefore the empty set union C is just set C, which is a set containing the elements one, two, and three. And then number nine, we have the empty set intersect C. This set contains the elements that are in the empty set and set C, but the empty set doesn't have any elements, and therefore the intersection of the empty set and set C is a set containing no elements or the empty set. I hope you found this helpful.